On cold mornings in the summer and winter, we often see dew or frost on our cars or out in our lawn. But how and why does that show up? Well, our Candace Monticelli joins us live with another experiment teaching us all about it. Good morning. Good morning. So I'm sure we've all been outside on those cool mornings and wondered, how did this do or frost to get here? And why does it happen? Or how does it happen? So today we're going to make it happen and explain why. It all depends on temperature and moisture. So here's what you need for this experiment. Two tin cans that you have taken the lids off, cut open. I just used old vegetable cans that we used for dinner the other night. Then some crushed ice and table or rock salt. So first you want to fill up both of these tin cans with a little bit of crushed ice, maybe about halfway up the can. Um, I did try this with cubed ice. It doesn't work as well with cubed ice. So make sure you actually do crush the ice, it helps. And then we have two different mixtures going on. So the first one that will make do, you wanna fill up this can with a little bit of cool water, just enough to cover the ice. Then the frost mixture, this can is where you put some table salt in. About two to three, or three to four, two to three tablespoons of table salt will do it. And then you want to mix it around a bit. And then you just wait and watch. This will take a little bit to get going, but I know we have pictures to show the closer up version as you'll eventually start to see this frost forming on the one can and do forming on the other can. So this is what's happening. The salt and ice mixture is actually melting the ice and that requires heat, which ironically enough is coming off of the ice. But that reaction ultimately makes the entire mixture cooler. So that's reacting with the water vapor that's in the air and then on the outside of the can, that water vapor reacting with the cooler temperatures makes your frost develop. Then with the dew, the melting of that ice is just hovering around the freezing mark, a little bit above it, 32 degrees Fahrenheit. That then is making it warm enough for the water vapor to react with this can to put it into the liquid state and form the dew. So you have the solid state of water with the frost and liquid state with the dew. So that's how you get it in the mornings, depending on the temperature and where that moisture can react with that temperature to put the water vapor either in the solid or liquid state. So eventually you'll start to see that frost forming on the can and the dew on the other one. So pretty cool to create it right at home for today's weather experiment.